Between 2022 and 2023, 37 nurses and nursing assistants exited the health sector in Grenada as the sector continues to experience hemorrhaging in human resources. As a means of stopping the bleeding, the ministry is now planning a retention strategy to be approved by Cabinet. This announcement was made by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Desiree Stevens, during government's post-Cabinet briefing. In 2022, we would have seen an uh, exit of approximately 31 persons within the nursing sector, including um, nurses and nursing assistants. And so far in 2023, we have seen six already, and these are due to retirement, resignations, and termination. In addition, the ministry is currently developing a retention strategy for our medical personnel, our physicians, and our nurses as a measure to try to retain them within the public service. So within the first quarter of 2023, a retention strategy will be developed that will be forwarded to cabinet for its approval. The PS says they are also seeking to fulfill numerous vacant positions within the health sector. Also, training um, for our physician in specialized areas as you are aware, we have a number of Cuban specialists who are providing support to our hospital services and have been doing so over the years. We felt it necessary that we need to train our own and provide specialized training for them in various areas. Funding for specialized training for our nurses in areas such as ICU, nephrology, oncology, psychiatry, etc. And we're hoping to have a number of nurses trained in these specialized areas um, starting maybe as soon as the first quarter of 2023. Also as part of the budget, proper training and development of the workers presently in the sector is also a key element of their plans. We would have had approval for 21 mission critical positions which we are seeking to fill along with other vacancies that exist within the Ministry of Health for areas such as epidemiologists, radiographers, facility managers, phlebotomists, pharmacists, cashiers, etc. And you may ask why cashiers? Um, we've had a serious leakage over the years in revenue collection within the hospital and we found it necessary to have cashiers in place who would be responsible for 24-hour revenue collection at the hospital. In December of 2022, Health Minister Honorable Jonathan Lackrett says government's honorarium to nurses in the amount of 500 per month serves as an apology, not for Tom Fullery. He said it also serves as a discouragement to immigration. Administration, we do not have the time for the Anansi pageantry. The $500 honorarium was not given to trick, calls, mama guy, or nurses. If we wanted to do that, we would have given them $5,000. For GBN News, 